Hey Virgos, this is for Virgos who are dealing with an Aquarius for the month of November 2021. Mm, let's get it Virgos. Alright, so it looks like between you and your Aquarius, I mean I got the star card at the bottom of the deck, so this is freaking Aquarius energy for sure. Virgo, like oh my goodness. Alright, so between the two of you guys, you are going to be seeing each other here. Virgo's coming with the, with the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles there, alright? You guys are probably going to be reaching each other's homes. You know, you guys are literally going to be meeting up with each other, okay? So with the Four of Wands, building your friendship, your relationship here again, all right? Regardless, though, you guys don't feel so secure, Virgos. It's going to end up happening. Maybe even later on in the month of November, it's going to literally come out that you guys are going to become the King of Pentacles in reverse. That your person may end up actually confessing something here to you. This is somebody who plays a lot of games on you guys, Virgos, who brought a lot of destructive energy on you guys as well. You do adore them very much. You do want to be with them and everything like that. But how come they continue to be the Queen of Wands reverse? Why do they continue to play the games on you? Why do they bring destructive energy towards you? Why are they not able to release the, the things that they've gone through? This person needs to find a way to release the past. They're very reluctant to be able to change their ways with a death card to the Queen of Wands. You guys may end up actually end up finding out. Maybe this person even is going to end up confessing something and they may also confess something when they're angry like the truth may actually come out when they're upset or whatever the case is all right you virgos are going to be going through another spiritual awakening it's coming in for you guys specifically with the seven and seven there to the high priestess of the tower card <sighs> it's saying here literally virgos to continue to stay on the right path you guys are going to be going through a shake-up right now right the seven of pen the seven seven number here is like a well a fortune of good luck your intuition is going to be getting much more stronger. Your psychic gifts are going to become much more powerful, Virgos. And uh, and your spiritual awakening is going to be a little bit shaking your world up. Uh, however, though, it's saying please stay on the right path with the, with the Ace of Pentacles there. Um, you guys are continuing to grow and grow and grow. And, um, you know, Virgos... What you put out into the world, it will always find its way back to you. Coming in with the Knight of Swords energy there. So this person is going to want to come back, try and balance everything out with you here, Virgos. This could also be a friend for some of you guys too. But regardless, so they are going to be taking... This is somebody who drives very, very fast, Virgos. <laughs> Aquarius drives super fast. Uh, they want to come back. They want to balance everything out here as well. Especially if they are going to be the ones who are going to be energetic, energetically blocked. You guys may not actually give this person a second opportunity to come back in towards your life. Because you guys are now coming into the high priestess energy. You guys are intuition is on point. Nothing anybody can say or do is going to be able to get you out of your element. You guys don't have the energy to put into this person anymore. So for that, you guys are going to continue to walk away with the Nine of Wands. The hangman, you're using your intuition and realizing that, listen, if I continue to put work into this connection, I'm not going to get anywhere. It's the hangman. You guys are thinking about yourselves now instead of thinking about other this other Aquarius because it's not getting you guys anywhere, especially when they are going to continue to be... Um, Plays too many tricks and then uses their anger to say things that they shouldn't be saying. Uh, for that, you guys will be walking away at the end of the month of November. 8-8 eight, eight is right there for you guys, Virgos. So that's literally telling you guys, like, you know what? That's freaking karma. There's karma coming in for somebody here, Virgos. If you put bad out into the world, it's coming back for you. Whether it be good or evil, karma's coming in. And... Um, always keep you always be kind to everybody the way you treat people is how you want to be treated at the end of the day and if you're not going to be getting respected the way that you want to be respected you have no choice but to walk away to allow for these people to, to allow your Aquarius to understand that that's not right and vice versa so if you're an Aquarius and you feel like your Virgo is doing you one like this it's time for you to you know what stand up for yourself at the end of the day and not allow anyone to disrespect you however though um you don't have an issue being by yourself, especially you don't have you don't have time for this person to start to continue to always play games on you. The, the only difference is between you and this person here, Virgos, is that you guys are going towards having a spiritual awakening, which is going to be a little bit dramatic for you guys. It will. It will. It, it really, really will. It's not going to be like, oh, you know, daisies, skip lollipops and friggin balloons and cotton candy. No. It's going to be tears and dreaming and literally hanging out in a corner. And then <laughs> it's going to be very, very difficult, Virgos. Believe me, I know. I know. All right. I wouldn't be saying it if I didn't know. I know how I've been through many, many spiritual awakens already. Okay. I've already had to go through like 70. I'm young, but 
the shit that I've had to go through, it's very, very overwhelming at certain times. And it's like, no matter how much you ascend, you always have to go and do a spiritual awakening to get you prepared for the next level. Okay. So with the six of cups to the ace of swords energy, I'm laughing because I'm laughing at myself. All right. Don't even think about it. Like I'm laughing. No, no, I'm laughing at my, this is how I choose to, to laugh at myself because the shit that I've been through, <laughs> the shit that I've literally been through, like, oh my God. And I made it? Oh, God, Virgos, no. Okay, so Six of Cups, Ace of Swords energy there. They're, they're, so they're going to end up obviously getting the clarity that they really do miss you. They're going to become very nostalgic on you. Uh, but you guys are going to come to the realization that you guys are going to have to figure out how to change your past. If you guys are going to continue to do the same things over and over again, that's not getting you anywhere. You're going to have to make a definite decision that it's time to let that go, especially with the wheel card there. Repeating the same old cycles, Virgo, that's not doing anything good for you guys. You guys are such overthinkers and it really, really torments you guys a whole lot. It's enough with that shit. A magician card in reverse, three of swords and the chariot card. Somebody here could have also done some sort of magic on you guys, Virgos because they're very selfish and whatever the case is also sweeties this person is going to be receiving their karma and they're also going to be receiving vengeance for bringing pain into your life at the same time regardless though you guys are not going to be sitting down and making a decision anymore with the two of wands in reverse you're not going to be fearful anymore virgos you guys are going to go and continue to be the empress that you guys are very loving nurturing fruitful you guys have abundance and tranquility and prosperity and money literally on the way here at the same time and if this person does not get it together then you are going to in fact be gone virgos because now you guys are going from the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles to the empress you leveling up so this means that you guys going through the spiritual awakening <laughs> meaning you guys are going and pass it everything is going to be just fine virgos I, I promise you you guys are going to be just just fine you, you guys will overcome it and you guys are going to look great all right your aquarius here is coming in they want to talk to you virgos they're coming to the judgment and realization that they want to balance everything up between the two of you guys uh they're gonna probably okay so you need to be careful with your with your Aquarius, because they might be a little bit emotionally manipulative here too, and emotionally selfish at the same time here, Virgos. Uh, <coughs> okay, yeah, definitely emotionally manipulative here. Uh, however, though, they are also incredibly manipulative too. This person also suffers from abandonment issues, and they don't have an issue leaving anyone behind. Also, Virgos, you want to be careful that this person is not going to say what they want to say to take advantage of you to get you in the bed. Be careful, Virgos, all right? Uh, regardless, though, they are going to want to come around. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry, Virgos. I can't. I can't do this. This is so bad spread. This is so bad spread, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> This is so bad spread for you, Virgos. Uh, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Moon card now. This person is hiding so much shit behind your back that you don't even realize that they're hiding this much shit behind your back. You need to watch your back and you literally need to be careful. I'm not going to tolerate this for my Virgos. And if you're a Virgo who's doing this in Aquarius, I'm not going to tolerate this for your Aquarius. <laughs> no, get it together, please, Virgos. I'm so sorry. You guys need to literally watch your back and take care of yourselves at the same time, all right? So this person has a lot of love and a lot of feelings for you, but then the person that you're dealing with is just super manipulative, selfish. They, they say what they want to say. They want control. They want the power. And they keep a lot of hidden secrets. But the only problem is between you and them is the fact that you guys don't even realize that this person is this, is this emotionally manipulative. Is, is, that, is that they're this friggin' deceptive on you guys. Please, Virgos, wake up, all right? Wake up, Virgos, and start seeing people for exactly who they are. The world card. And don't you dare give me no side eye while watching my videos because I will feel it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Virgos, Seven of Swords. Don't you dare give me the evil eye, Seven of Swords energy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. So everything is going to be, you guys are literally still going to be with this person, all right? But you guys are still going to have to go through the turbulence that this person brings you. They bring you, Virgos, a lot of, you need to watch your back in this relationship with this connection here, okay? You might be worried, you guys might end up actually finding out that this person might be either in a relationship with somebody else or that they might be literally married to somebody else too. And once you guys find that, because you guys are going to do your investigation, right? You're the hermit. And then once you guys realize it... Oh, Virgos, oh, Virgos, you guys are going to get your strength back, your power back, and you guys are probably going to be asking them about it too. And when you guys ask them about it, because you guys do love them very much, 
and this person might be literally living a double life no lie here somebody also has twins in this in this in this energy there virgos nine of swords okay so you guys are going to be really stressed out because you guys are going to be like oh my god like you were the one that i was supposed to be with you were the, the love of my life i loved you how are you just going to abandon me and leave me like that how are you just going to destroy me and think that you were able to get away with it and then bring stupid shit towards me five five transformation is coming towards you guys virgos you guys have to go through this pain in order for you guys to learn the lessons of the next person that's supposed to be coming in for you guys <sighs> you needed to literally go through this pain in virgo so you it can get prepared for the one that you're meant to actually be with all right on how you choose to still hang on to this person and still go to the same through the same trials is going to literally be up to you guys however though you do unfortunately have to go through the pain to start realizing that you know what the love that you give to people not everyone's going to reciprocate that energy back not everyone's going to reciprocate that energy back, right? You guys literally thought everything was good. And even when you guys fight with each other, they still be reaching back out to you again anyway. So it's like back and forth, back and forth, literally, all right? Knight of Cups here, sweethearts, uh, the Fool card. So they're going to come back for you. They'll be reaching out to you too, but you guys are also going to go back to them because you love them very much. And, and you guys just, you know, you guys always want to hope and pray that you're always going to be able to see the good in the person uh, at the end of the day. Um you might not know whether or not you're going to want to respond back to them here, Virgos, but they are going to be choosing to to message you, contact you, phone call you, or whatever the case is. But you guys are going to be a little bit indecisive with the two of swords of the Queen of Pentacles because it looks like Aquarius is going to be the one sending you messages, talking to you here too. You will respond back, but the thing is, you guys might not, might not be really all that happy with the fact that you guys may have found out some stupid shit regarding them, which leaves you very much so trapped out. Like really PTSD, trapped, not knowing what to do. Like, what do I do? Like, they're still reaching out to me. And expressing to me how they love me. <coughs> what the fuck is wrong with all the readings? Every reading I'm doing, I'm coughing, Virgos. This is crazy. Uh, Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups energy there as well. So you're going to be really trapped when this person starts to become a little bit overwhelming for you. With the Ace of Cups, they're like, they're spilling. They're telling you how they feel. They're telling you that you are their emotional fulfillment. That you are their Nine, the nine of Cups. That you bring the, everything to them. You are everything and more here. Uh, but they are going to be coming in to apologize to you. To take control of the situation. To make the relationship work. They are obsessing over you. They are watching you and spying on you. They are a little bit delusional here too, Virgos. They are going to try and take control of the situation to come back for you. But... They are a little bit toxic, especially when they can't get you. They become a little bit overbearing here. Uh, you guys are very loving. You guys are going to sit back and think about your future for a second. Literally, four of swords and the three ones. You're like, okay, like, hold on a second. Like, you're, you're, you're doing too much. I need to sit back for a second. I need to think about what it is that I want. Uh, nine of wands to the king of wands. They're not going to let you go. They're literally going to fight for your connection. You guys might be a little bit skeptical on whether or not you're going to want to take them back. Ultimately, though, it's in your hands. You are going to be going through a huge spiritual awakening. Your gifts are going to be becoming much more powerful. And uh, what you put out into the world, it will come back to you, whether it be good or evil. Always be mindful on the energies that you put out into the universe. Because when you see the synchronicities and you see the numbers... Please understand that karma is definitely at play here with the Eight of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups and Seven of Pentacles to the Seven of Wands. There might be something here that you're not able to see, which is going to be coming in very fast for you. Uh, regardless, though, money is also on the way for you too, Virgos. Thanks, cuties. Bye.